Welcome to PLP. In this video, we will go over the installation of the Squirrel Deterrent System. Open up one of the clamps by pulling apart the jaws until it is locked in the open position. Rotate the trigger until its retaining wall rests in the clamp. Place your index finger on top of the trigger to hold the retaining wall against the clamp body. The thumb and middle finger will be on the opposite sides of the clamp. Keep fingers clear of the clamp mechanism when setting the trigger. To set the trigger, continue holding the clamp as described in the previous step and use the opposite hand to push the loop forward. This trigger will hold the jaw open. Place the clamp over the conductor or strand at the desired location. Lower the clamp onto the cable until the trigger is activated and the clamp is latched onto the cable. Assemble a collet onto the conductor next to the clamp. Make sure that the narrow end of the collet is facing away from the clamp. Install an end plate onto the conductor next to the collet. Align the end plate over the collet threads as shown. Twist the end plate counterclockwise onto the collet threads until the end plate is able to spin freely on the collet. Place two spinner halves around the conductor near the collet and slide them together. Secure the spinner halves together by crimping the flanges together using bolt cutters or a similar tool. Make a minimum of one crimp per flange. Repeat this process with the remaining spinner halves. Pins can be installed along with or in place of crimping the flanges. Repeat installation of additional spinners until the desired protection level is achieved. Assemble the second collet and end plate onto the conductor as shown in the previous steps. Slide the collet and end plate next to the spinner. Install the second clamp leaving a gap of 1 to 2 inches between the clamp and the end of the collet. This completes the installation of the Squirrel Deterrent System.